what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about this upcoming jurassic park game we'll be talking about smile 2 we'll be talking about jeepers creepers 5 and we'll be talking about maxine one final time well maybe more if, depending on what comes out but just to start off here with this jurassic park game ign published this article a few days ago with details regarding this jurassic park survival game we already knew the game well, this is from the article itself. It says, we already knew that the game will take place one day after the events of the 1993 film. The action will follow engine scientist Maya Joshi, who has been left behind on Isla Nubar, Nublar after the characters of the film depart. There, she must survive an attempt to escape the park, avoiding dinosaurs and other hazardous and other hazards as she goes. We will be revisiting iconic locations from the 93 film, but we'll also be seeing brand new ones. This particular setting allowed the developers to explore places that were only implied in the film, but never seen, distant buildings, places where visitors were meant to stay the night, and so forth. And the locations that we're familiar with may have been changed by the aftermath of the film. We also were teased on meeting several new characters along with specialty dinosaurs like the, I don't even remember what it's called from Jurassic World, Indominus Rex, I think that's what it was called. I think that's what they could be talking about in terms of specialty dinosaurs we could be meeting. Well, probably not, since it's supposed to be set a day after that first film. But as you see here on your screen, there's been some cool concept art coming across the screen. I cannot wait to play this game. I'm looking forward to it. Something to keep me entertained. Actually, it's is it even known if this game is dropping before or after this upcoming film? Because if not, then the upcoming film itself would keep me entertained before this game. I'm actually looking more forward to this game than the next movie. If I'm the only one who feels like that, then so be it. I highly doubt it. I'm sure there's several of you out there who are looking more forward to this video game than the next Jurassic Park movie because of how lackluster the films have been to you. But the second thing we will talk about here is Smile 2. So Smile 2's promotion has indeed started and it gave us this final confirmation on what I said in January which pertains to what would be a pivotal detail, pivotal detail to the upcoming film, which is that Smile 2 is about a musician, in this case, a pop star who's on tour. She's allegedly recovering from substance abuse and the entity has latched itself onto her. We got our first confirmation at one of those con events earlier this year when a teaser was shown. That teaser is believed to be dropping online sometime this week. Now Sky Riley promotion is getting noticed through Sky Riley Nation on IG and Twitter. In fact, a song from this fictional character played by Naomi Scott is dropping tomorrow and many believe this will also correlate or coincide with the teaser that drops online tomorrow as well. White something about white blood, blood satin. I don't remember the song title, but Sky Riley, a fictional character, their own version of Hannah Montana, if you will, has a song dropping tomorrow. Sky Riley, of course, is played by Naomi Scott. And another rumored bit is that Sky Riley's actual name, as I put out a few months ago, is Quinn Parsons. You'll find that out in Smile 2 when the film drops later this year. I am really excited about what they're going to do for the marketing campaign because if they actually are going to be releasing the teaser this early, it makes me confident they have a very clever marketing campaign that they are going to just play with us with all throughout the rest of the year leading up until the film's drop in October. I think it drops in October. So I cannot wait to see how this marketing campaign goes. I cannot wait to hear this song. Naomi Scott, of course, playing Sky Riley. This is her doing the vocals. Her voice still sounds amazing to me. And I can't wait to hear the song. Can't wait to see the movie. Like I stated back in January when I put that one video out, Smile 2 should blow the first one out of the water. The stakes are so much bigger. The implications of the pop star makes everything so much more bigger. So... All they have to do is execute it well, and this will be another sequel that surpasses the original. Now we're going to talk about Maxine. Maxine, of course, is going to be arriving in theaters on July 5th across the nation and in other places. And on top of that, early access screenings are taking place on July 3rd. You already have these videos coming out, of course, speculating on who the killer could be, yada, yada, yada. Well, the one thing I want to remind everybody about is going to be that there is a secret cast member. I will share a bit of information on that secret cast member. For those of you who are avoiding the comment section, this secret will not be spoiled. But if you cannot help yourself and you go into the comment section, you're probably going to know who it is before you even see the movie. But I will say this about the secret cast member. This person is going to appear within the first 30 minutes of the movie. And I'm pretty sure based off of what happens in the movie, you'll know who the secret cast member is. Now, if you happen to come out of the movie still confused as to who the secret cast member was, you can message me and I'll clarify it. But you will see this person within the first 30 minutes of the film, no doubt. 
I'll even go as far as say you'll see them within the first 15 minutes. It won't be that much of a big surprise that you'll have to wait for. You'll see them within the first 15 to 30 minutes of the movie, no doubt. And again, if you're still confused about who it was, just message me on my social media platforms and I'll clarify it. I cannot wait for everyone to see Maxine. I cannot wait to see and hear this soundtrack. There was also the confirmation we got that ZZ Top's Give Me All Your Loving, which I put out a report about back in December, is in fact going to be a part of the soundtrack. So that's another one confirmed on the laundry list of details that have been coming out for me that have been confirmed at this point. This one was confirmed through A24's TikTok. So hopefully you guys enjoy the film. Hopefully you guys enjoy the soundtrack. Hopefully you enjoy who the killer or killers end up being. Last thing we're gonna talk about here is going to be Jeepers Creepers 5. Jeepers Creepers 5, of course, has not been greenlit. That's not what this is about, but it is in relation to the ongoing lawsuit that stems from the poor production of what was Jeepers Creepers Reborn and the ongoing lawsuit that still is haunting them even after the fact. And it seems to, again, be the only thing holding up Jeepers Creepers 5. This is important and significant because this is from a recent court ruling that happened on June 10th, 2024, in which both parties, Myriad Pictures and Screen Media, Infinity Films, they met back up. And the background of the case still reads as follows. This case arises out of a dispute over the production and distribution rights to the film franchise Jeepers Creepers. Plaintiff Myriad Pictures alleges it holds the rights of first negotiation and last refusal to the franchise. Plaintiff alleges the defendants produced and released a fourth installment of the film franchise without their knowledge or involvement. Again, this was on June 10th. Here's what the rest of the background says. Plaintiff also alleges the defendants are currently, currently producing a fifth installment of the film franchise without their knowledge or involvement. The reason that is very important is because of the keyword currently. So there still is, they definitely intend to bring that character back in some way or another, whether it be quality or whether it be more trash, that's yet to be seen. But Jeepers Creepers doesn't sound like it's dead. It does not sound like it's dead still. That fifth film is still just lingering in limbo. And with this being from June 10th, 2024, and the plaintiff, Myriad Pictures, alleging that the defendants are currently producing or trying to produce a fifth film. We're probably going to get news about this fifth film when September comes and when everything is resolved with this trial. We're probably going to get news on it. You can only hope and pray that whatever news you get is something that is of quality and something that finally gives you the story resolution to the end of Jeepers Creepers 2. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and you miss a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.